Welcome back viewers. We really appreciate you being here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything exciting. Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are gonna cover the highlights of 700R4 valve bodies, also known as TH700 and 4L60, but not 4L60E. If you watch to the end of this video, you will not know everything about the 700R4 valve bodies, but you will know enough to be able to correctly replace a valve body and you will know enough to select the correct valve body for your kit car or your mod rod conversion, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. We're going to start with identifying some of the more important valves. You have your manual valve, one, two shift valve, two, three shift valve, three, four shift valve, and lockup valve, which is going to be very important. Throttle valve, you have various switches, which would require a whole nother video to go over all the different switches. You probably already know that there are auxiliary valve bodies and non-auxiliary valve bodies. If you look at the gasket or the separator plate, you'll see whether it's auxiliary or non-auxiliary. Right here where my thumb is, you'll notice there's a severe lack of holes. There's only the bolt holes. This is the non-auxiliary. On auxiliary separator plate will look the same right here, just no feed holes. This changed in 86. Pre-86, you had non-auxiliary. After 86, you had the auxiliary valve body back here in the back and then it needed feed holes. This is actually not the most important thing you need to know in order to select the main body valve body. It is something you need to know to select your correct separator plate and your correct gaskets. But the main body here, what you really need to know is about the lockup valve. Early 80 to 86 had a steel valve in here that actually worked for a lockup. And if you're doing mod rod or some kind of kit car, you want to be able to control lockup without the aid of a computer, just using switches and other switches on the engine and a lockup valve. You're going to need the earlier valve body with the steel lockup valve in here. Now, let me zoom in here and show you what's in here. This valve body is actually 86 and later, and it has a aluminum plug in here that looks like a valve, but it's made out of aluminum and so it only moves a very little bit and it just blocks off everything. So there's two different valve bodies already. The one with the steel valve and the lockup and this one with the aluminum plug. If I tilt this up, you can see one, two shift valve, two, three shift valve, three, four shift valve and where the lockup goes. You can see this is also down in there pretty deep for the aluminum plug. Like I said, that is the second valve body, 86 and later and it does not have the steel valve in here for lockup, it just plugged off. Now you could, if you had a steel lockup valve, put a lockup valve in this valve body and use it for conversions and mod rods and stuff like that. But you're better off if you can find the valve body that already has the steel valve in there for lockup. Now 93, which is the last year, of these, this will be all cast iron and it's plugged off like they never even drilled it. That is the third type of valve body. What and where will I film next? Subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching our video. Gracias por ver nuestros videos. If you watch many of our videos, You'll notice we do a wide variety of vehicles. Si usted lo vio algunos de nosotros videos, tú sabes que nosotros haga un montón de diferentes tipos de carros. If you want us to film your vehicle, please let us know in the comments below. Si usted le gusta nosotros filmar tu auto, por favor, deja tu comentario ahí abajo después de toca de campaña y inscribirse. Gracias. Chao. Bye bye. Here's Victor with, to tell you about the wonderful vehicle in this video. Aquí está Victor para decirte todo sobre él. Es, es el maravilloso uh, auto que me dijo. Video. <laughs> Today's featured vehicle is a... Hmm. Shelby! Today's featured vehicle... Supercharged Shelby! Today's... Oh. And 
here's Victor to tell us about the wonderful vehicle in this 